you guys. I'm just gonna be a uh, review on my many Derringer cap gun. The cap gun. You can see you can pull this back. You put the cap in there. You just pull the trigger and it pops. I thought that's the kind of caps you get to make it work. But yeah, not so objective. Just regularly. So yeah. Um, it, you can't. It's not shelled. As you, can, as you saw, you put the cap right there. The hammer works pretty good. I got it for three dollars with some cap. Good deal. I had a keychain. I cut it off. You don't know. The trigger. The barrel is pretty. Just regular orange. One day I feel like I'm just gonna take off the orange tip. But I thought it holds everything in place. Yeah, I think so. So, it's full metal. It's kind of heavy. It weighs a pound. It has nice wooden grim, grip. Nice wood slash plastic. Plastic. Looking like it's wood, but it's plastic grips. But the rest is metal. Stainless steel. As you can see, I've been firing it a couple of times. So, um, has nice design. See, um, also has some like. Like a uh, hold up, guys. Um, it has like these rubbery grips, I, or like these nice. Yeah, now you can see it better. Nice little design. That's the Derringer. I'm just bored making a whole bunch of videos. Showing around. It says it's May. Right? It says right. If you could get my camera. Can't make it to get full. It says 8 to. It says Jaru 88252. China. It was so like you think it was made in China. Most of everything is made with China. In China or something. So. I'm gonna get more of these today or Friday. Because today is Thursday. Wait. Day. Probably gonna get some today or tomorrow. So I was thinking about getting the flintlock, the revolver, and the 1911. So be kind of